Alrighty, welcome back to slide two. I am ready to continue on. This here's John Masson. That was a quality job you boys did on loading the spice off them boats. Soon enough, I'll have one of them special iron horse trains come by and pick it all up for distribution. Stay sure that once this here spice business is taken care of, we'll have ourselves a hunting party. Go out into the woods and kill us some bears, eh? I mean, I'd be down for you killing off all the bears. There are a few of them and they kind of scare me. Oh no, the hover pack is an actual usable item. Uh oh. Okay, so what am I trying to do? I don't fully know what I should be trying to use with... with Bentley. And we'll try the hover pack. Just being able to keep yourself going is always good. Come on, keep going, walk into the health extractor. Oh, okay. I think I have to actually like put him to sleep first. Oh God! <laughs> wrong button, very much the wrong button. How about we just leave? Woo, hover pack, <laughs> oh my God, we can't, we actually get a good bit of verticality there. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. Yeah, piece of cake, man. Look, we have a hover pack, so this is fine. This is fine. I think. Oh, we're fine. We're good. We're here. Now what do I do? Press up. You got it. Okay, let's break some bottles. Maybe we can get some of our charge back, although it's not working so far. There we go. I don't know what kind of things we're gonna run into inside the train, besides apparently a shitload of lasers. My god. This is, uh, this is intense, but I'll be fine. See? Everything's working out. You just gotta look for the gaps in the lasers. This room's a little worse. Man, I wish I could just get up on the, on the luggage area. Oh, this is the worst kind of like <laughs> jump rope that you could ever do. I always sucked at jump rope. Oh, no, no, God, no! You got me thinking about fucking jump rope over here, except we're like jumping lasers and then suddenly we're gonna get attacked from the sky. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stupid barrels blocking all of my shots. Here, health extractor. Eh. It takes so long to deploy. But it's okay. Uh oh. It's not okay. It's not okay. Ah! I don't need to use the health extractor. It just makes me feel better if if I use it and I get my health back. Although that guy didn't give me any health. What the heck? What's the point of a health extractor if it doesn't extract health? It's not working. Oh, because I don't have the energy for it. Ugh. Here, have a bob. filled with incredible levels of disappointment, but that's fine. I don't need to use the health extract from everybody. Because I can always one-shot them with the good old one-two punch. Or one-two bomb. Put them asleep, make them the other things. Oh. I mean, there's no point in me coming in back here, except for, I guess, some coins and health items. But I'm okay with that. Because the other side's, like, blocked off usually. Yeah, okay. I didn't expect there to be just an open door. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. 
Let me redistribute some things. How about I get a snooze bomb and throw it in between all of them? Oh. Oh shit! He's trying to rocket sock me! I'm gonna blow you all up! Didn't work how I wanted to. I forgot that the snooze bomb is something you have to place down and not something you can toss. That's an oops. I really wanted to toss the snooze bomb at the enemies and it just didn't work out. Fine. I also could have gone along the side and just not worried about it, not fight, fight those guys, but... I really wanted to. Bentley, under our control, is an elite assassin. Ah! An elite assassin, capable of no failure! Except for things like that. Can I jump up this? Oh, I can. Good. Okay. <laughs> oh. I wish I could stealth put people to sleep. That'd be a very useful skill. Hey, there's a clockwork heart. Or, oh, lung. Yeah, whatever. Clockwork organ. Outstanding. Chalk up one strange robot organ for us and one less iron horse train for John Bassan. Is that actually gonna, like, put that thing to a stop completely? Because, I mean, they can always just use coal. Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Bassan's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior oh. to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby ham car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. Uh, I guess we could capture some bear cubs. I feel like that's mean. It's cruelty for them, but we'll move on. So I guess I have to be Bentley first? Yeah, okay, you got it. Coming on through. Don't really need a full sneak. Oh, like, there's Camelita. Camelita! You think I'll fail if I attack Carmelita? I just wanna- I just wanna hear with a sleep dart. Uh-oh. Just getting into a fight and getting shoved around by a train. Ah! Fair, fair. You can't put Carmelita to sleep, even though it would be a totally not hostile action. All they need to do is make it so that she goes to sleep, and if you try to bomb her, she'll just wake up. But no, this is fine too. Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done. Provided I can catch up with that train. Uh, am I gonna get attacked immediately? Okay. No, we're fine. Uh oh. Thank God for vulnerability. Otherwise, I was taking a laser shot straight to the face. Now, where's the second one? Oh, it's coming on over. Oh, boy. You have to get into the train before it goes to the tunnel. Oh. I was a little distracted. I thought it was going to end up being underneath us right there, but I was wrong. Okay. I just figured maybe it would be on this track. Okay. Adrenaline burst. We have to go fast. Ha ha!
I wonder if, if you stay on top as it's going through the tunnel, you'll still end up failing. Just because, like, you didn't this go into the caboose. Work. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bobs and the square button shoots forward. Cool. Oh. It's like this, huh? All right, that's fine. I should bob those missile launchers before things get ugly. So it's like a shoot 'em up. I shoot out. I just fly in a straight line, taking out everything along my way and trying to avoid as much danger as possible. Shoot him up, bullet hell, whatever you want to call it. But I've always sucked at those kinds of games. At least the most intense ones, because they just become like a game of pattern recognition. Of intense levels of pattern recognition, and uh... That means playing it a ton, like over and over and over again. <laughs> to the point where like 99% of the screen can be filled, but because you've played so much, you know the exact pixel you need to be on top of to stay safe. I'm not into that kind of gameplay though. Oh, hey. I was so distracted with the with blowing up the barrels, I didn't notice the helicopter flying in front of me. So they have like tiny little drones too, right? Because this thing's really not that big. I'm just gonna stay still. Uh oh, never mind. Ah! <laughs> My chopper is almost going down. It's got less than half its health. Uh-oh. See, here's a problem when you can't spin your chopper around at all. If the enemies come from behind, we're in trouble. Go ahead, John Basson. Deploy your missiles. Oh shit, he's got other helicopters. And the missiles. All right, helicopters are the first biggest threat because they can move and shoot, and that's annoying. The missiles kind of, well, they're pretty predictable. Midway strikes again. Yes, the aerial defenses are down. Now it's all up to Sly to finish the job. So how's Sly gonna land on the the, the train? Are we just gonna go back to the main hub area? Now that the air defenses have been shot out completely around the train? Because I feel like that would be a, a bad idea on John Bisson's part. Yep, oh my god, it's right back here. It just had its entire thing destroyed, and they just don't care. You know, I'll be honest. I don't know where the fuck the bear's going. That works. <laughs> I was trying to attract the bear's attention and make it notice that there was a guy behind him. And instead he just kind of wandered off in his own direction. Yeesh. Okay. So now we have to go as Murray, I guess, to try and launch Sly over to the other side or something. Might as well use my adrenaline rush. Okay, Murray. We're gonna get some serious action here. Maybe punch some people, maybe throw Sly as far as possible. I was wondering when we were gonna get some action as Murray for these trains. I just figured that maybe they were gonna use him for the third train he was gonna punch his way through everything else. Because I mean, look how powerful he is. Okay. Jump to heroic heights, R2. Okay, you got it. Whoop. I almost made it! Shit! Ow! Darn mole people. They're ruining everything around here. Hey, Carmelita. Ah! I don't think so, Carmelita! Your shock pistol can't hit me! 
I am a master dodger! Haha! -ha. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. The metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscle. No, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. Bears? The love of a mother or her child. Okay, you can also uh, just say bear. You got something to tell me? <laughs> yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. Oh, well, you don't have to make it sound so bad. Oh, there goes Carmelita. You gonna be okay over there? <laughs> Carmelita is just doing some practice for her return back to the police force. She's gonna have to do some mad hops for everybody. Okay, this cub has put itself in a pretty dangerous location. In between all these bear traps? Come on, kiddo. Alright, here we go. Bear cubs are always so adorable. And then they grow up to be so big and possibly vicious, but also still a little bit adorable. Adult bears are kind of cute. In a, it can maul your face off in an instant kind of way. Here you go, Barry. Good work, Barry. I'll send you the coordinates to the next bear cub. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Whoop. And it's to kill them. I can always do that too. But what's the point? When I've got these fists of steel. Sorry to say it, but the other cub is somewhere in this bear cave. Be careful, Burry. Nope, it's totally fine. Oh boy, except for the fact that there are so many other bears around here. If I get shot while carrying a bear, will I fail the mission? Or will it just, like, fall out of my hands and continue kind of waddling? I'm not fully sure. We're not going to find out. These cubs are under my protection. Well, you know. The mother is already on her way. Just so that way we can make them fight. That nice. Beautiful. Just like a nature documentary. Only more violent. This is a lot of work to get on the second train. Whoops. No, I, I want to toss that because I want to get on this. How do I use it? Or is there a mission start area that I'm missing? Oh boy. <laughs> Why does it have to come all the way over here, man? So I don't see any- oh wait, there you go. I was gonna say, I don't see any prompts and it's not letting me, like, use circle to start it. No, it's because I have to go to Sly and go to the far back end of the map to start the mission. I guess it's because it's near the train location or something. I wonder what the third train's gonna be like if this one's so much of a hassle to get into. Well, this is kind of nice. Rather than running around completely all over the place, it's only a little bit all over the place. We're trying to breach trains. Sly, the second Iron Horse train is coming too fast. You might not have time to jump on top. Relax, Bentley. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. I mean... I'll be able to figure it out. Hold on now. Oh, I'm right here! Oh, wait! No! I see what I have to do. There's a pipe on it. Yeah, see? Okay, that sucks. I pressed circle, but I guess I wasn't in the right position for it.
Oh, fuck you, I'm right here! Come on! I guess that answers my question from earlier. If we're on the train and it goes through the tunnel, will it still be able to fail? And the answer is yes. Slide, grab the pipe on the caboose to catch hold, and climb on top! There. That's what I was trying to do before. The other clockwork lug should be hooked into the engine's furnace. Sneak your way up there and grab it. You got it, man. Ooh. That's a nice item you got here. Medium nugget, all right. I still want a large nugget at some point. <laughs> Good thing I've got my stealth mode. That one's a deceptive one. It seems easy at first, and then you realize, oh wait, there are spotlights here that can shoot at me. You should have seen how many missile launchers there were attached to these train cars. I don't mind saying that it took some real. Uh oh. Yeah, it took a lot of finesse. Mostly holding square. And pressing X a whole bunch. Super complicated. Look, guys, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt that you'll let me just fight you, and you're sitting here taking like five hits. I don't want to have to zap you, but you're forced to my hand. Ah. Oh, God! He blew up the cover! Ah! I guess I should break some barrels and get some health back because uh, otherwise we're in trouble. I love all the resilience furniture that's just kind of around sometimes. I can completely destroy certain objects, but not, not all of them. Even if they're these relatively the same size and don't really seem all too durable. Other moose, the moose is moose in the moose. Oh boy! All right, so I wanted to like test something out there, and I can confirm. What the hell is this guy doing? I guess he's trying to sleep, but like his model's not showing it. There you go. I can't confirm if you hit an enemy behind another enemy, even with the... Oh. This is fine too, I forgot I had the snooze bomb. Medium nugget. Alright boys, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk on through here. I was actually trying to make them, like, fight each other. Clockworks, can't read the word. I see my tail. <laughs> it's like it goes off screen, but not completely off screen. I forgot what I was saying beforehand. <laughs>